morning, ladies and gentlemen. I need a little bit of help from all of you. A keynote speaker is someone who is supposed to say a few words and does not know when to stop. Um, I promise that I shall be brief, as brief as possible, no matter how long it takes. Um, we have a very interesting topic on hand. Some of us spoke very passionately about how do you really spot talent, how do you nurture talent. I totally admire what uh, Mr. Natarajan spoke. But what it is to engender a whole organization that it could be very different in a world which is so congruent on processes and procedures. I'm going to speak to you about spotting and nurturing talent, and I want to take a, a meta context first and um, speak about the revolution which is currently on. Um, some times ago, in the 16th century, there was one kind of revolution. In the 17th, there was this industrialization that came by. Then you had this social revolution. Our revolution of the 20th was all about political revolution. This is the world of the talent revolution. And if you look at what's happening in the heat map of the world, one of the things that's very clear is what you see out here is a lot of places where talent is low in supply. And if you look at these places that has now come up, this is what is likely to happen a few years hence, that you would have these talent, but just about so. The greens are the ones where you have talent surplus. But that doesn't say everything. If you look at America, they'd always talk to you about a whole lot of shortages in the talent that is going to be about. Everybody speaks about STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, and they'll tell you about the number of people that they would require. Europe, a lot of transformation is happening. Outsourcing, people wanting to learn more from the universities and running up there. If you look at China, that's going to have a huge skill gap. By 2020, China will possibly need about 23 million more college educated graduates than they could ever supply. Um, what then augurs for India? So if you look at India, we are all sitting very pretty. We have 36 million college graduates added in about 10 years. We almost view about 3.5 to 4 million college graduates. But I'm not sure how many of them are really employable, something that our previous panelists spoke about earlier. We have just about enough that can take many of these people, but not all of them. So we're really building a lot of people who may not be employable long term. And in all of this, what we are also saying is, we've got to identify the real talent that is going to drive organizations. So when is, in one part of the world, there is scarcity, and you think there is a problem of plenty in another, the problem is really, how do you tackle and get the right talent to come in and work for you? So, where is talent? So this is all about, how do you really spot talent? Start right within yourself. Look at people who are sincere. So I'm going to speak to you about how do good leaders, many of us in the audience on the panel, how do we really spot talent? Check people with sincerity. Sports will provide enormous number of examples of the people who have made that very big. This is Deepika Kumari. I really love this lady because she's very close to some of the things that you and I have done in our growing years, which is to spot a mango and throw a stone at it. And preferably, if it's in the neighbor's yard, it's even more sweeter. What Deepika did was much better. I mean, she never missed her target. Somebody noticed this and said, hey, Deepika, you've got to do something. Get into archery. And then she went on to become the world champion, world number one, gold medalist. 2012 Commonwealth. Somebody spotted that particular talent. Take a good look at these two men, one of whom is a Bharat Ratna, the, one of the highest civilian awards that you, can, that you can bestow on one of its favorite sons, which is 
Sachin Tendulkar, the person in that black jersey, is that person, an outstanding cricketer. I'm sure many people would know him. The lesser known is the person by the right, that is his coach. What a fantastic man. Many years ago, 24 years ago, he was awarded the Dronacharya Award, which is an award just to uh, encourage teachers, people who coach people. So he managed to spot Sachin. And Sachin, he managed to spot Sachin because Sachin was a guy who always used to play act this whole thing. When he's on a crease, that is one part. The other part is when he's up and walking, he's always thinking about what he's got to be doing. High sense of sincerity. So if you find such people, then you have talent out there. Milka Singh, one of our uh, greatest runners. And a um, lot, of, lot of things have been spoken about Milka Singh. There's also a movie about Milka Singh. But let me move on and talk to you about something that is very close. I'm sure beyond love, 